Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. And today we're going to be, you know, talking about a very, very serious subject. It's going to definitely make, you know, a group of people mad, but, you know, it is what it is. And so today I'm making a, you know, response video to, you know, Rom Wills. Uh, the black, uh, the black um, woman's real enemy, and it really got me thinking, you know, about the whole video and how, where he is, you know, writing the money, that you know these news uh, outlets, you know, channels, you know, Fox, you know, CBS, MSNBC, you know, liberal or conservative or not. They always show that, you know, black people, black people are the most, you know, the most dysfunctional people on the face of the earth. You know, black men are lazy. We don't give a shit about, you know, ourselves and other people. You know, same thing with women. But, you know, with women, they, you know, they bring women up to this pedestal, but bring them out bring them down at the same time so they so they pick and choose you know who wants to you know be up there and they bring them up there to the point that they you know the women feel that data shit and all that but later on all that's gonna come crashing down and no one is gonna you know take them seriously after that actually they never they never even take them seriously they just you know take them as you know as you know, as a joke, you know, for entertainment. So you gotta really ask. So we really gotta, you know, ask ourselves as black people. Like, when are we gonna realize that you know our resources has been taken away? We've been showing on TV every single day in the bad light. And really don't have any. <sighs> Excuse me. Really, we don't really, really got any power to you know stand up for ourselves. And a better and really the better question is, when are we gonna stand up for ourselves? When are we gonna stand up to people that co-signs the fuckery that's been going on in Black America? We gotta ask ourselves this. And we need to stop giving, you know, ignorant people a platform. We need to stop giving ignorant people, you know, a voice. We need to stop t paying attention to these people. They're just a bunch of trolls that are winning. They're just a bunch of people that just uses whatever agenda that they feel they're going to, uh, you know, take advantage of. And they did it. And it's always, and it's always, it's always that simple. They know that you're gonna uh, be upset about something, whatever the person said on social media, and they don't even have to show up their, they they don't even have to show their faces. And you guys are already upset. Y'all y'all making videos, and I'm talking about, you know, not only black men but black women as well. That's just giving them this free publicity, this free you know attention. That they don't even deserve. So it's just, it's just crazy to me. Like how easy it is to piss somebody off, especially black women. And I'm about to uh, get on them in a second. And also, like I said, uh, like before, I'm all. I'm talking. I'm gonna be uh, responding to the, uh, you know, the black woman's, um, yeah, the black woman's real enemy. I'm also gonna be talking about this comment that was in that video. And it's a pretty long uh, comment, but it hits, it hits a nail pretty hard, man. It hit it pretty pretty hard. So I'm about to uh, read it. It's long, but. If you don't, if you don't want to, uh, 
read it, then you can just skip to the end. You know, and not learn much. But if you do want to learn something, you know, watch it through. Because you, some of you are going to be very surprised at what you're going to hear. And this comment is uh, from the Inner Circle. And the first thing it says is, uh, well, who, well, he, she, whoever. He, she, father, mother. Uh, it's nice to see Murth uh, Murphy's Law still in effect, isn't it? It's nice to see Murphy's Law. Okay. After watching black men get thrown under the bus for the last four decades and running on every media outlet known, the sisterhood didn't think they would be the next ones up. What they thought that their sur their sordid stories yeah, sorry. I don't know why it's, what, what sword did, but yeah, sordid stories of having seven kids by five different dudes wouldn't get ratings, or that no one would watch the crush and burn of a chick who had paternity tests put on a half dozen men and none of them turned out to be her kids' fathers. It's a great point to raise, and one many of us had talked about for years. One of, if not the worst, I mean, the largest single demographic who religiously watches those, I'm sorry, these shows every effing day are black women, not us. He is true. He, he's very, uh, well, I don't know why I keep saying he. Well, that person is very true, man. Uh, the, the, uh, they embrace the debauchery, the wretchedness, the hood culture, and the brazen lack of self self-respect shown because when you put uh put a mirror to their own lives they're living while trying not to tell about tell us about it they are the exact same way one can hear them go on and on about the latest fight on rhoa or love and hip-hop in the office but as as a black man you better not have an ideal word to say about it being ratchet or in poor taste unless you welcome the trip to the HR department an hour or two later. Yeah, man, I've been, yeah, I've been in situations uh, with that too, man. So, yeah, you gotta, be, you gotta talk, you gotta be very careful what you talk, what, uh, what you talk around them. They're quick to cry blood uh, murder and put out a hit list to get us shut down. But as David Carroll would say, you can hear a mouse pissing on cotton when Murray or Steve Wilco's name is brought up in the conversation. What are the protests and boycotts to get their talk shows off the air? How come I didn't see World Star or Lee Daniels on their hit list over a month ago? I've seen endless videos clapping on us for hating black women but I've seen yet to see, to see one of them condemning shows like Love and Hip Hop, RHOAs, and Empire. Yeah, that's true. I used to, uh, I was like, you know, when it first came out, I was, you know, I watched the first episode, you know, first, second, third, and then, I, and then you know, I realized, you know, this show, it... <laughs> This this show's making us look real bad, man. It's like the new generation of Michael Jackson's a family. The Jackson family. Like it was ratchet as hell, man. <laughs> <sighs> Crazy. But uh let's keep uh moving on. You know, shows like those have done far more damage to the overall image of black women than any YouTube content producer ever has. As you stated, when some uh, suburban white kids think of some of his sister acts, he isn't going to YouTube to view one of our channels to get an idea. He simply takes out the remote, watch a pack of Ratchet, who were almost raised under your watch, by the way, act a fool and run around for an hour, and his mind is imprinted that all black folks are effed up in lives, I mean, in lives like that. <laughs> I don't know why I said lives, but yeah, man. But like I said before, uh, 
you know, people, not only just white people, but a lot of people around the world are starting to believe that we act like that. We just date, I mean, we just fuck anything, don't take care of our kids, you know, saying we're the worst, you know, fathers of all time. Like, it's crazy, man. And, oh, okay, I'm in the last paragraph, so. Uh, okay. In my, in my honest opinion, what we're seeing today is a bunch of selective enforcement by not only the sisterhood, but a simps, manginas, and white knights who follow them. It's perfectly fine for a non-black man or a black man living in alternative, alternative, um, lifestyle. Alternative lifestyle. Okay. And, uh, to prove, um, to, uh, to produce and host ratchet shows for the masses, but for straight black men, they be better be uplifting the sisterhood of, I mean, at all costs, see, uh, see Harvey, Steve. I mean, wait, doesn't he mean to say see Steve Harvey? I don't know. Or face immediate, uh, Repressals. Wait, I don't know if I'm... Repressals? Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that. I'm <laughs> saying that right. Repis. Yeah, I think it's repressals. Uh, let's see. Mari Provic. Was it Mar Mari Provic? Yeah, Mari Provic. Uh, can have a show. Humiliating black folks go on for over a quarter century and running without nary word about it it says uh by them in protest without nervy word about it it says by them in protest uh but if a black man has come up with the exact same content there would be throngs of folks ask, uh, asking for his head for selling out the race and airing out our dirty laundry he wouldn't have made it beyond a pilot stage, much less syndic uh, syndication. Syndication. Whew. Yeah, this guy would end on the sisters, man. <laughs> he would end on them, man. But I mean, they deserve to be uh, in on it, man. But it's, I mean, kind of like a lot more than the black guys. What in the black, black guys, black or whatever. <sighs> but yeah, well, I mean, what I feel about the comment, you know, I feel like I, uh, I mean, I, I, I agree with it. You know, I do, cause with, I mean, cause if you, if you don't, you know, watch that, watch your, uh, watch a child, and try to, um. Make sure that child doesn't do anything, uh, you know, bad or anything like that. Try to make, yeah, got to, if you don't, basically, if you don't, if you don't raise your, uh, child right, it's going to be thinking, you know, like women, you know, today and not, you know, check on them. They're going to be thinking like, you know, the world, you know, is around you like you're the you know you're on top of everybody and you know you don't get you don't give a uh, cry about anything and I kind of like that's where we are right now there's so much you know you know women in society not just black women but women you know overall you know all throughout all races they feel like that, you know, they could boss people around and treat them like, you know, trash. And thinking that nothing is going to uh, do, nothing's going to be, uh, you know, uh, bad against them. Like, they're thinking that no one's going to uh, hold them accountable. And that's where, you know... We are a society. We're not giving women accountability. That's why they're acting the way they are. 
And that kind of ha- plays a big role of, you know, why there's no, you know, male role models. Like we're like as a like a, uh, as a you know little boy to a man, we rarely have any good role models to look up to. That's why a lot, we don't really have any good role models. That's why we look. That's why a lot of uh, dudes look up to rappers and you know a bunch of uh, sports athletes and but not really guys that you know are really political. Like the last, you know, very popular political band that you know took charge of something for black for black uh, people around America, really the whole world, is you know Martin Luther King, you know Malcolm X. I mean, yeah, there's uh, there's some up and coming, you know, political leaders. That, you know, they're trying to, you know, have, you know, better rights for black people. But as black people as a whole, we're making their jobs very, very hard. I'm sorry to say this, but we're making their jobs really hard because how we portray ourselves on on TV, on social media, really the internet in general. If people are not going to take us seriously... Really, if we don't take ourselves seriously, who will? Same thing with uh, black women thinking that you know they're they're on top of the world, and thinking that dating a uh, white man is a lot better, even though all men throughout the races have a bunch of assholes, a bunch of you know manipulative. You know, bitches that hide behind the screens. You know, all that. And yes, I'm talking about the swirlers. <laughs> if some of y'all don't, you know, pick it up. But I mean, it is what it is, man. And now I'm going to explain why I got a mirror in this damn video. I put a mirror there because a lot of these people, men and women... You know, yeah, black, yeah, black uh, men and women need some self-reflection. They need some self-reflection in their lives. And I'm going, and I know I'm going back and forth with uh, black men and black women. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm including the guys in because we do co-sign what women be doing. For all these years. And that's why a lot of things have never been done. So we got so the people that has a brain that knows the type of stuff that goes on in society. We do need to uh you know not only hold these people accountable, if they want and if they uh wanna if they try to you know get of our attention still try to get our attention after that. Just don't claim them. Just don't pay them any mind. That's it. That's what they are. Some attention seeking low lives. All right. They're just some attention seeking low lives. And we don't need to, and we don't need to take them seriously. That's all I got to say. And after end at the end of that, no, hope you guys know enjoy this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.